嗨，大家好，我是 Pan。大家都看到他在这个页面呢、啊，已经做好这一个更新啊。如果你什么都不会，你看这个视频，你应该是明白啦。他只是解释吧，所以其实对我们来讲有什么进展呢？其实是没有啦，他只是解释给你知道他这个东西是怎样算，他的说法是怎样。目前为止，我知道很多马来西亚人或者是很多人呐、啊，都不想要做 validator， 就是这个验证者。为什么？因为他们怕，如果是做错或者是太多错误话，会有惩罚。对我来讲，对我而言。他其实没有这样恐怖啊，就是因为太多人害怕，项目方也没有去声明的话，那么我觉得他这个速度会比较慢一点点，所以这个其实是一个很矛盾的。那么你说上这个主网的话会很快吗？那么就要取决于你身边的这个 validator 的这个验证者多还是少。所以今天我就不要讲那么多。如果你是真的被选为这个验证者，那么我觉得你应该是去做，然后去了解一下，那么你才知道项目方在做什么。不要说他们没有做工，是现在把工作丢给你们，你们。不想做，所以我们就不要讲那么多，我们就看这个原片。我下面有中文字幕 ，OK。Hey pioneers! Today you'll see the new Pi mining mechanism in action and learn how to explore and interact with your mining page. We'll explain how your total mining rate is calculated from various components. Overall, mining rewards help meritocratically reward pioneers for their diverse contributions to the network's security, growth and inclusion, utilities creation, and stability and longevity. To get started. Access the Pi mining page by tapping the lightning button here after completing your daily mining session. This new Pi mining page is your one stop for all information related to your mining rate. From here, you can understand how your total mining rate is calculated from the three main inputs: base rate, boosters, and rewards, and explore and interact with each of them. Let's spend some time exploring the page. We'll start with the summary at the top. This top section gives pioneers an overview of the time until a current mining session ends, so you know when to come back to mine. A pioneer's current total mining rate in pi per hour, and the overall calculation, where your total mining rate equals the base mining rate multiplied by the pi boosters and by the rewards. Next, we'll look at the base rate calculation. The current mechanism of the pi system-wide base mining rate adjustment. Became effective on March 1st, 2022, based on a declining rewards issuance formula, and adjusts on the first day of every month. This change is in line with the direction outlined in the three updated white paper chapters released on December 28th, 2021, along with the launch of the enclosed mainnet. In combination with mining activities, the system-wide base mining rate is adjusted dynamically based on a monthly supply limit determined by the formula. This ensures that pioneer mining rewards are within the total supply limit of 65 billion allocated for mining rewards, as announced in the December white paper. The monthly base mining rate will continue to be adjusted based on the formula. This new base mining rate differs from the old base mining rate, which had a static value and halved every time the network of engaged pioneers increased in size by a factor of 10. This formula, along with the new mining mechanism, balances the network's need. For growth, accessibility, longevity, and long-term incentives. Additionally, it right-sizes the pioneers' rewards for contribution to the network. Next, let's visit the boosters section. While the base mining rate stays constant for all pioneers each month, there are several ways that pioneers can individually boost their respective mining rates. The first requirement to receive boosters or mine any pi at all is active mining. Active mining is at the heart of the meritocratic principle, so pioneers must renew their mining session every day in order to continue to mine pi. A status of 100% indicates that the pioneer is actively mining. The security circle booster is derived from the number of pioneers in your network that you know and trust. Pi's consensus algorithm relies on a global trust graph, which is aggregated from the millions of intertwining security circles of individual pioneers. Thus, a pioneer is given an additional boost for each new valid security circle connection, up to five such connections. A security circle with five members boosts your mining rate by an additional 100%. This action alone can essentially double your mining rate. Additionally, pioneers can voluntarily lock up their pi to earn the right to mine at a higher rate. This is meant to support a healthy and smooth ecosystem and incentivize long-term engagement with the network. While the network is bootstrapping and creating utilities, you can set up or increase your lockups by tapping Configure here. 
The higher the lockup percentage and the longer the lockup duration, the higher the lockup mining boost will be. Finally, the reward section offers additional ways the pioneers can increase their individual mining rates. Again, pioneers must be mining daily in order to receive any mining rate at all. This 1.0 figure indicates active daily mining. This part indicates rewards for your active referral team. Inviting more people to join Pi increases your mining rate. Reminding your existing referral team to actively mine also increases your mining rate. This referral team reward recognizes Pioneer's contribution to the growth of the network and the distribution of the Pi cryptocurrency. The utility usage bonus rewards Pioneers for using Pi apps on the Pi browser. This helps increase engagement and ecosystem bootstrapping for Pi's developer platform. The node bonus rewards are available to Pioneers running the Pi node and are computed based on the reliability, accessibility, and computing power of the node you are running. Like on any blockchain, Nodes are at the heart of the decentralization of Pi network and are thus critical to the security and longevity of the Pi blockchain. Thanks Pioneers for your support. Pi network can only succeed through your continued diverse contributions as you have demonstrated over the last three years. We hope that this guide helps Pioneers understand our meritocratic mining mechanisms. Please visit your own Pi mining page to understand how your inputs and activities impact your overall mining rate. The more active you are, and the more ways you contribute, the higher your mining rate will be. Leave a comment in Pi chats or interact with the Pi Core team on our official social media accounts to let us know your thoughts.